Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Grizzly Bear Sims YouTube channel, and welcome back to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator 2018, what I'm calling the grind, and we are still grinding away, but look in the upper right-hand corner. We are at a level 29. We have 24,477 XP points out of 24,900, which puts us hopefully to level 30 unless the game is bugged and we have 426,775 dollar bills in the bank and that looks pretty good we've got four jobs here lined up uh, I will admit that these jobs are going to be uh, mostly uh, brake and um, um, brake transmission and um, probably uh, exhaust jobs is what I'm trying to think of what I was thinking about there let me just make sure yep I have emptied all my uh, bad parts and everything out so let's get started and see if we can surpass the uh, 24,900 XP points uh, barrier together and let's take a look at what is wrong with this car here it is all about brakes all about brakes so Let's go ahead and pull up here and take a look under the hood just to make sure that we don't see any signs with brake issues here. There are no ABS modules here on this particular vehicle, so uh, no need to continue looking there. We will go ahead and lift the car up and commence to pulling all the wheels off the car because all the wheels on the car make the car go round and round, right? Anyway, I hope you all are having a wonderful, wonderful day, and um, I have just been having an absolute hoot playing Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. Um, I might have mentioned that um, it had been several months since I had played Car Mechanic Simulator 15. Um, I somehow or another caught wind of Car Mechanic Simulator 2018, um, you know, being due to be released sometime in the summer of this year uh, probably back in maybe the very early summer time frame and I don't really know where I heard it from or saw it probably uh, out on the steam uh, threads or something and so um, I sort of stopped playing Car Mechanic Simulator 15 in anticipation for 18 to come out and um, and so it's kind of like um, well it's kind of it's I would never say that Car Mechanic Simulator 15 was a sort of a go-to game for me um, did I pull everything off this yeah I did that's odd um, so I wouldn't necessarily say that Car Mechanic Simulator 15 was the type of game that I thoroughly enjoyed to the same level as say Farm Sim uh, 15 was um, but at, nevertheless, I did play it from time to time, and let's just make sure that we've got everything there, and we do. So I did play it from time to time, um, but, you know, I just didn't, it wasn't something that I played every single day. So um, unlike Farm Sim, Farm Sim 15, you know, I pretty much put it away when 17 came out and never looked back with it or to it. And uh, let's just go ahead and get two of these because we will need that uh, as we continue to build the front end of this car back out here. And we're going to need uh, two brake pads as well. Um, and let's see what else we need. But anyway, um, so it really, two calipers looking like we're going to need pretty much everything. We'll go ahead and get two brake cylinders as well just so that we've got them. Uh, we'll obviously use them down the road, and we obviously also have plenty. Um, still on 1.1.9, um, um, I know that the developers uh, are taking a little bit of time off. I, I think that they work to try to get the game in a pretty stable uh, situation or pretty stable place, which is where it is now. I mean, arguably, there are a few things that I wish um, were fixed. Um, some small things I still see the occasional part disappear and I still sort of have some some questions or some some issues related to how things get sorted and stuff like that but I really do believe and and, and remember folks I while I don't come from a programming development background I do work in the world of IT and I do I do see 
um, how difficult and how hard it is that these these folks work in the development type roles and um, Playway and, and everyone else that's sort of behind this game uh, over the last week week and a half uh, maybe even maybe even closer to two weeks they have really been burning the midnight oil uh, to use uh, that analogy and doing a really remarkable job in in fixing the bugs now you can we can argue and we can say that this game uh, perhaps should have never been released in the time frame that it was released but you know something my guess is is that it was not down to the actual developers or maybe even the management of the developers and everything as to the decision process to release this game when they chose to release it it probably came from much much higher up uh, people that don't aren't necessarily involved in the development process they're probably not uh, involved in the support process they're probably not necessarily involved with going out and reading the forums and all that kind of stuff to try to understand Oops, try to understand the frustrations that people are, are obviously feeling towards um, the bugs and everything in the game. But nonetheless, you know, they said, send this thing out, and that's what they did. Now, was it right? No, uh, it was not. They sh put a, probably should have kept this thing in the oven for another couple of weeks um, minimum. But it is what it is. And, um, and so they have done an outstanding job, like I said, an outstanding job of getting this thing uh, patched and getting it to where, another break job, uh, getting it to where that basically it is today, and that is a little bit, a little bit stable. Performance is definitely better. Um, I've not really bothered checking the number of frames per second that I'm getting. You guys know me. I've said this many times. I don't, I don't get bothered by a frame rate number. I don't get hooked on a frame rate number. Uh, I look to see: is it stable? Is it choppy? Is it, uh, you know, is it looking like a 1970s uh, slideshow that I used to have to sit through as a child, watching each slide? you know and listen to somebody drone on and on and on talking about whatever it was that we were looking at in the slide itself but if, as long as it's not doing that um, then I'm I'm pretty much happy so um, I don't know what sort of frames I'm getting I'm guessing that I'm probably getting uh, 60 frames uh, per second and that is fine with me I my eyes can't see anything uh, greater than that and it really can't uh, detect anything slower than that again pending that we don't have the whole choppy slideshow type effect going on so um, anyway we're just ripping parts off here uh, that's kind of what this uh, is all about just chasing uh, chasing level 30 is um, is what I've been doing the last several uh, hours last several days that I have invested in this game and uh, I guess since I've owned the game, um, I've had, I've, where I've witnessed um, probably at least a half dozen of updates to the game. And some updates were um, beneficial, and others, you know, it was kind of that, that whole mentality of uh, take one step forward and, and, and take, uh, oops, take two steps back. But nonetheless, I think where we are right now, again, and I know I've said this uh, before, but where we are right now, I think, is uh, is about as stable as I have seen it. Uh, performance is definitely much, much better. My graphics card is not screaming at me um, with the fan running uh, 100 miles an hour and everything. So um, that is, uh, that's obviously a good thing. I was actually quite concerned um, with how hard the game in the very early days, and when I say early days, early days for me, I bought this. Um, about three or f maybe three or four days after it was actually released so I'm sure that there maybe had been an update or two or three in that in that span of time and um, let's see I can't remember is this is this disc breaks all the way around I think it is I can't remember I'm sitting here talking to you guys and I can't remember um, what type of breaks are on the back end of this if we've uh, but anyway, yeah, well, it must be disc brakes because uh, we had to pull off the ABS unit. So, okay, not a problem. So anyway, um, I think everything is uh, progressing nicely with the game, 
And uh, I think that if you uh, are interested in this type of simulation-based game, then uh, I would say that you know now is uh, a good time to buy it. It's not on sale anymore, to what from what I understand. Now uh, I did some research uh, because you know I like to keep people informed as to what's going on in the land of these types of games, or at least the games that I enjoy playing. Now that's really the only kind of news that I'm ever going to really follow is based on simulation-based games. I'm not really going to go out and, and just search um, the world of uh, video games just for the sake of it. If it's, if it's a game that I typically play, um, you know, like Farm Sim, Truck Sim, uh, car, mechanic, car mechanic simulator, etc., then I'm probably going to try to stay in the loop, flight sim, etc., try to stay in the loop as to what's going on. But, um, all right, let's put the ABS module on here and um, get this all buttoned down and everything. I did a little bit of edit on this just to kind of speed things up because since the other job was also a brake job, I decided that I would. Uh, put you guys out of your misery for just a moment. So we'll go ahead and finish that order up, and we are moving on, inching closer and inching closer to episode, not episode, but to level 30. So we'll go ahead and move this car into its position. Now, one thing that I was had been doing, because like I said, I've been just grinding away at this at this whole thing, was I had cars. Now. In the state that we're in right now, I don't think that we actually have any additional outside parking. Um, I could be wrong, but I don't think that we do unless we got that like at around episode, uh, level 28 or 27. But I have been stacking cars here, basically working, trying to get four at a time. And even in this stage of grinding, don't forget, you can also put a car back into the... Um, um, back into... Oh, what's that place? Uh, what's that uh, stuff called back there? Hang on. Uh, I've just... Uh, to the test path, sorry. Um, you can move stuff back to the test path. So basically, you could have uh, one, two, three, four, five cars uh, or five jobs accepted. And I was doing that, running them um, back and forth like that and um, trying to just grind away, grind away. That's been kind of the name of the game here. And let's see what this job is about. This job is another brake problem job. Okay, so um, let's try to get our view up here where we are, where we can see what's going on. Pull the ABS pump off. This one's going to be a little costly for this particular user, but I'm sure they can afford it. Hopefully they can afford it. Lots of brake jobs. I have done a lot of brake jobs um, in the grind. It kind of, um, you know, it kind of, kind of puts me in a zone. I can just kind of, uh, just kind of chug along here and pull brakes off, strip everything down. And as I had indicated in my, in my, I think it was maybe episode five of the grind. You know, I had sort of uh, hinted or suggested that, you know, tear, tear your brakes. If it's a brake job that you're doing, tear it all the way down. Uh, take everything down, even regardless if the disc is looks pretty good. Go ahead and pull it, and that way it kind of helps as you're going through and you're looking to see what you have and what you don't have then if you know that you've basically pulled everything off the car, then you know that if it comes up in like right here, if we switch over to assembly mode, and it's basically telling me after I put the, the front uh, disc ventilated brakes on, if it's telling me that I basically don't have uh, any disc pads anymore, then I basically know that I need to order four because I have pulled everything off the car uh, so basically we're going to need two because we're going to put a new set on and we're going to put a, an old set. We do need four calipers. Uh, so here's kind of my example. Now in my gameplay, sometimes you'll see me go in and, and increment the number of units that I need. And sometimes I will just uh, hit 
uh, click and hit enter a couple of times to order parts. It kind of depends. I figure if I'm just ordering two of something, it's kind of easier to just order it, uh, click it, hit enter, click it, hit enter. But if you're doing more, if you're doing like four, then yeah, it's probably quicker to to go ahead and and change the quantity to four, and then um, um, and then buy purchase your your items. But you know, sometimes my arms get a little bit tired uh, from laying in the same position because I am playing keyboard and mouse for this game. This is really the only exception, the only uh, game that I will play uh, keyboard and mouse. And pretty much, uh, I still haven't figured out how to, uh, we need uh, brake pads. So here, it's just quicker for me to click and hit enter. And I thought I got four brake pads just a few minutes ago. But I could be all these things are kind of running in together. But... <clears throat> We are just going to go ahead and try to get this guy buttoned up here and see if this will push us over uh, to the level 30. I don't think it will. I think we're going to need that other car over there um, before we're going to get to level 30. So we'll go ahead and drop our... I uh, hope I put all four wheels. No, I did not. Okay, but that's okay. You can... Uh, you don't have to... Uh, you don't have to lift the car all the way up. We need a brake disc. We need a brake disc. But you don't have to uh, have it up. Um, I sometimes work in this position. It, you know, it just kind of changes the view up just a little bit. Um, but uh, it all all works out. I, I I'm very impressed with the changes that uh, that they made. And like I, like I've said the last couple of episodes, I'm really looking forward to getting into the ability ABS module. We're not done yet, Jerry. Come on. We're just rolling too quick here. Okay, ABS pump. We gotta buy that guy. I'm not sure if we were able to repair the ABS module or not, and we were, so that's good. That'll save our customer a little bit of money. Of course, once we hit level 30, it's all going to be about. Um, well, it's not all going to be about that. I mean, it's not. I'm not going to do solely auctions and rebuilds and stuff like that. I will do some of this repair work for customers. Um, okay, 29. We are at level 31. We are at level 31. Uh, we're at level 31, and it's 20 minutes in. Let's go ahead, just for grins and giggles. Let's go ahead and do the repair on this car here. Uh, because I went ahead and I took it, so I feel like that uh, we need to go ahead and do this for the customer, and let's find out what this job is about. Uh, brake problems, gearbox control, and repair. Driver struggling to find gears. Well, that seems like a issue with the driver, maybe, if they're struggling to find gears. So the starter is pulled off from above, and let's just check this one more time. Brake problems. Okay. Um, you know, I have yet to uh, to have a faulty brake pump, uh, which is uh, which is a bit odd because normally I think I've pretty much gone through uh, scenarios where all the different all the different brake elements have uh, have been faulty, but um, but not a brake pump. All right. So we're going to go ahead and uh, kind of move our way over. We're going to go ahead and pull the drive shaft because this one also includes some issues with the uh, with clutch. And so I'll go ahead and pull that off. And we need to swing around and grab the starter off. Of course, sometimes the starters come off from the uh, engine compartment and sometimes they come off from underneath. So you just kind of have to check to see if you can pull the starter off. Um, and if not, then you got to lift it up and take it off like this. Nasty, nasty part. So we'll go ahead and put the um, uh, we'll go ahead and put the clutch stuff back together uh, while we're here. So it's under gearbox, and we just basically need all of these guys there. Grab them, throw them back on. None of this can be repaired, so it's not even. Uh, worth taking it over there to the repair bench. And the pressure, or the throw out bearing. And then a gearbox ROTA. Now, sometimes the gearboxes have been repairable. 
but we're just going to go ahead and buy this guy a brand new gearbox. Uh, we're feeling good about things because we're now finally reached level 30 and we're going to go ahead and buy this guy a new gearbox and uh, throw it on there. That'll save us a few steps from having to go over, put the starter back on. And now we need to throw the drive shaft back in there. Drive shaft is probably one of the most awkward point or parts, other than the clips. The clips that hold like the uh, distribution the distributor cap and the uh, air filters and stuff like that. Those are a bit uh, odd to, uh, to to deal with. But um, all right, so we'll go ahead and start finish up the brake job for this here. This car is pretty much a rust bucket. And again, I pull everything off. I'm pretty sure that all of those parts needed to be replaced anyway, but even if there's a scenario where something looks like it might be okay, but in this case, none of those scenarios matched up. So we'll now come over here to our bench and see if we can repair any of these brake parts and we'll just have to go back and see what we have been able to repair. Okay, what is our magic number? I didn't write this down for this job. 40%. Okay, so 40% magic number which means that that'll work. That'll work. That won't work, so we need two of those because we're doing a uh, um, two disc brakes and two uh, two others in the back. So we need two of those and get those down in there. And I am slowly kind of getting used to the fact of you know doing repairs and still seeing rust on parts that I would ordinarily. Uh, discuss with the customer if I were in this business I would be or if I wanted to do it myself I would definitely be uh, uh, doing that so we need a front disc ventilated like that and don't worry folks we'll be doing the big reveal here as we um, as we change our shop to to uh, level 30 I think we get an extra uh, I think we get an extra lift and uh, of course we get our paint booth and all that good stuff so we'll be doing a very quick tour so just hang in there hang in there I know you've seen a lot of brake jobs here recently uh, as we've been grinding out here uh, but I will show you the big reveal and of course if you're um, if you are interested in this game then um, then that'll be good for you. I, I do believe that probably the next uh, sale that we could ex maybe expect to uh, have from Steam will be around Halloween, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, I suppose if you hang out till then uh, on purchasing it, there's no guarantees that it'll be on sale, but I suppose that it, uh, it could be. Or maybe because of all the problems or whatever, you know, maybe. Um, Playway will will put it on sale. I don't know how that works, but one set of brake shoes for the back, and then a drum, and then a tire and a wheel. Like in the wheel uh, separation and the back. Ooh, that was scary. Um, there we go. Let me uh, let me save right quick because that was weird. I don't know why that happened, why it went to my desktop like that. And I think we now need to lower our car and try not to get squished underneath it. And I think that might be all. Um, good, good, good. Finished the order. Bada bing, bada boom, and we're well beyond ep uh, level 30. All right. So here's the big reveal. Let's go over here to our box here, and uh, we've got five points that we can spend. Uh, I've basically been saving them until we could get to level 30, and then we'll go back and fill some of these in. So we're going to unlock the upgrade, 
and let's just kind of take a look around and see how things look now. Uh, we've still got our test path back here, so this doesn't really change. That all functions and looks the same. Man, what a grind this has been. Here's our workbench area. None of this changed. Um, this area over here, which is our original workshop area, that hasn't changed. We've got one lifter, two lifter, three lifters. That's pretty sweet. Um, we've got um, really nothing. Well, we've got our welder. Uh, somewhere around here, we've got a detail, uh, car cleaning detail kit there. Uh, we've got access. Our office area, I don't think, has really changed any. Nobody's bothered coming in and cleaning it up, that's for sure. And let's see, we've got our paint shop, our paint, ooh, ooh. I'll need a, I'll need to have a, uh, a nose job to fix my nose. We've got our paint shop here. And let's see what this is. What is this? What is this? This is uh, something we haven't unlocked yet. Um, don't know what this is, but we'll find out once we get there. Uh, can we go through that door? That's cool too. All right, like to have multiple ways in. And then last but not least, uh, this area is really nothing other than just a little lounge area uh, where I suppose we can come up and, and play a, a game called Car Mechanic Simulator. Or maybe we'll play f uh, Farm Sim or something while we're up here. So this is uh, got some, uh, looks like got some leftover 1970s tech up here. Well, not that flat screen TV for sure, but uh, big speakers and looks like there's uh, some kind of a gaming system and a stereo so good stuff all right well ladies and gentlemen we did it the grind uh, I would say the grind is over but the grind is obviously not over we will do uh, customer repairs and stuff like that later down the road uh, most likely the next episode you're gonna see will be starting the restoration projects and stuff um, that'll all be cool how we can go out to the uh, auctions go out to the barns go out to the junkyards and find cars bring them back in and restore them to 100%. Everything will sparkle, no rust whatsoever on any of the vehicles. I've been looking forward to this from the moment that I got the game. I did not want to cheat. I have not cheated. I have done every single thing to get to this level and basically loving every minute of it. So let's take one more thing before I let you go here. Let's just, uh, we can't unlock any of these yet until 35. This gives us our extra parking. This gives us faster walking, uh, cheaper trips to the junkyard, recycling, that's okay. So I tell you what, let's go through and spin. We've got uh, four, uh, four points there. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's just do these in order. So there, uh, can we select multiples? We can't. So unlock that, unlock that, unlock that and unlock that one. Now we are solid all the way across. Uh, we will grab these two here um, in the next um, uh, the next time that we get some points. Maybe we should have unlocked that one. Um, this one is um, shows you average value of car at the auction. Maybe we should have unlocked this one before some of these other testing uh, functions, but that's okay. We'll, we'll get some more XP here uh, momentarily and then uh, most likely we're going to do a junkyard or a barn find rebuild first before we go to the auction since the auction is not new for uh, Car Mechanic Simulator 18 all, uh, because we had it in 15. So thank you all so much for watching. I do appreciate Hopefully I haven't rambled too much this episode. Uh, I have been playing a lot of this, like I said, just to get to level 30. So I'm going to take a break and go do some farming or do something else. Maybe maybe drive some, play some ATS, ETS2. And then we'll come back and I'll probably do a rebuild off camera um, just to sort of get my processes and everything um, down uh, in control. And then we'll do something on, um, on video. All right. So thank you all so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Please take care of yourselves and each other and come back again to the Grizzly Bear Sims YouTube channel. I'll be waiting here for you. Take care now. Bye-bye.